In this video, I'm going to teach you the ribbon spread. The ribbon spread allows you to spread out the cards on the table, show them to the audience, turn them over, whatever you need to do. You can also do it at like an angle like this. So, to do the ribbon spread, all you have to do is hold the deck with three fingers along the front, thumb along the back, first finger along the other side. You place the cards on the table, and then you just move from left to right, releasing pressure from the bottom to the top. Now, what I did there, just in that description, is not going to get you a perfect spread. In addition to that, you also have to push down on the cards with all of your fingers. If you push down, you get more control over the cards and allows you to separate them more uh, evenly and just get them across the table. If you have trouble with the spacing and you know it's kind of clustered and you know sometimes it's you know uneven, then moving your hand more quickly can help. You know you just go like that, you get a more even spread. Uh, you will have to practice this a bunch before you can get it working perfectly. But uh, you know some of the things you might do, you know, make different symbols like hey, I'm going to make a plus sign or you know. Now I'm going to make a, uh, a circle. You know, the more you practice different angles and motions, the more comfortable you will become with being able to do that. And uh, once you have the card spread out on the table, you know, just straight left to right, you can insert your finger underneath by pushing down with your thumb and then just kind of peeling on that card. And then you can lift up and then just push across all the way until the cards flip over. And then you just want to insert your uh, other hand right below that last card before it flips over. That way you can just move your hand left across and then uh, pick up the cards. You can also uh, pull out one card, turn it, and then just run it along the top of the cards here. And that usually works pretty well. Uh, another thing you could do is, you know, as you're picking up here, lift up a card here and then just transfer it. That's a little bit easier. Uh, one thing to note though is that if you do want to turn over the cards, having them straight is better than having them in an arc. And uh, also, the closer the cards are together, the better it will work. And if you do it too much, eventually the cards will separate and then they will just break. So don't uh, flip it too much. And also, the table or the surface that you're actually spreading the cards on matters a bit too. So here I have a close-up mat, which is pretty good because it has a lot of friction, which, is allow which allows the cards to stay in place. If you have a smooth surface like a, I don't know, a linoleum floor or something, it's going to be a lot harder because once you start to do this, the cards are going to try to slide around, they might fall over. Uh, so things like carpets, uh, you know, cloth tables, or uh, close-up mats will work best for this move. And that's a ribbon spread.